On September 30th, 2023, a collective of 11 presidential candidates were prevented from holding a pre-campaign launch rally at the Palais des Sports in the capital of Madagascar. This comes after the applicants tried to seize the High Constitutional Court regarding President Rajolina's request for a second mandate. According to the candidates, they only seek to know the palace's new programs to be used in days ahead. And as they were prevented from doing so, they threatened to take to the streets in order to express themselves. Faced with this situation, outgoing president and candidate for re-election, Andre Rajolina, denounced on October 1st the actions of his 11 opposition candidates, whom he accuses of creating from scratch a new political crisis. On October 2nd, 11 out of the 13 presidential candidates called for a public rally to make their voices heard at the place with Reis Mayor in Antananarivo, a place known for having been the scene of all political protests on the big island of Indian Ocean. So far, security forces in Madagascar fired tear gas on the opposition candidates leading to a protest. The rally was not given green light by authorities and hundreds of security forces patrolled the city. Voters in Madagascar, one of the poorest countries in the world despite vast natural resources, head to the polls to elect a president on November 9, 2023.